Hey Easy Agent Pro, this is Tyler with Easy Agent Pro. We're gonna hop over to my computer in a bit and talk about Facebook ads. Corinne had this question today about uh, the cost per click of her Facebook ad. So I'm gonna talk through two or three things that can impact your cost per click uh, and what you can do to lower that and some various options for retargeting your audience to get cheaper leads, cheaper impact, uh, and cheaper marketing so that you get um, cheaper things giving you uh, returns in your business and in the marketing on Facebook that you're doing. Um, so she gave us three screenshots of the ad she was trying to set up. Basically, uh, if, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, which we're now doing EAP TV daily, so uh, you might be watching this there, we're gonna show you step-by-step -step what you can do with CSV files, with retargeting, uh, with video ads, and with uh, slideshow ads that may lower the cost per click, cost per lead back to your website. So let's hop over there and take a look. Okay, so as you can see here, Corinne's first question, why are my ads costing so much? She set it up and Facebook suggesting uh, $7 per click. So we're gonna go over three, four things here. The first thing you gotta know is that Facebook, is, <laughs> the way Facebook makes money is with clicks. And so they're always gonna uh, suggest a high bid because basically if they get you to say, oh, my minimum bid or my maximum bid is seven bucks, then they can charge you up to seven bucks for that. Where if they get you to say something like, oh, my minimum bid is like 350, then you know they can't charge you over 350. So when they give you this suggested range, I'd suggest you know starting maybe maybe four bucks, maybe 350. Um, and then we're gonna go through here uh, ways to get a lower suggested bid. But I would go in there and I would really shoot to um, just sit at that, if not a little lower. And if you're not getting enough clicks at that cost, if you're not running on a budget and you, you're not running, um, getting enough clicks, then you can go and increase that bid after you watch it perform for a week. So let's look at her screens. She set up retargeting traffic. So she put the pixel on her site and then uh, is retargeting it. Um, she didn't do anything else down here. And then she's have it showing up on mobile newsfeed, desktop newsfeed, and for 20 bucks a day, um, and then clicks to your website. So, um, as you can see, suggested bid seven bucks, four to 10. So first thing to know, she's in California. So that market already is a bit more bid it up and expensive. Um, so that so if you're sitting there in Iowa and you set up the same ad, you're probably gonna look at a lot cheaper ad. So let's look at a few things she can do to get that lower. Um, first thing I'd recommend is trying to boost a post um, on your Facebook page, Corinne, or anyone else watching this on YouTube. Usually if you boost a, a post that you have, this might be your profile. Yeah, I think this is your profile. Um, oh, you're in Atlanta. Where, why did I think you're in California? Anyway, still big metro area. Drive up that. I uh, can't find it right now. So if you boost a post on your page that gets leads already or that gets people back to the site clicking a lead lock, that's going to cost less on average. Um, and usually you can get some nice comments and engagement. So what we do at Easy Agent Pro is we find, we post daily and we find the ones that some people comment on. And then we boost anything that gets comments or likes because when it gets comments and likes, you get organic traffic for free um, and it goes further. So that's another way that you could lower the cost. But the thing that really interests me right now is this one called Get Video Views. Here you can get 10 cent views for that web traffic and in the description you can do the link. So what you're doing is you're automatically limiting the number of people that click the link while touching everyone um, that retargeted you. So if you remember back to the millionaire real estate agent Gary Keller, he'd always talk about the 32 touch system where you gotta touch people 32 times. Well that's really easy if you're running get video views so let's say you set up get video views and 10 cents per view to your audience. Um, they're all gonna see it maybe twice. Those two touches right there. And then you can come back and you can set up the ad you're running right now with $7 clicks. And those people already saw two videos of you on Facebook. And now when they click your site, you know that they're serious and they've probably been pre-warmed pre up a little bit for you. So it's a bit better of a view there. So that's tip number two. Tip number one is try boosting. Tip number three, try get video views. Now I can't really tell by like, you didn't really send me a screenshot of the ad, so I'm not sure 
what type of whether you're going for seller leads, buyer leads, first time home buyers, fizzbos. I don't know what what you're targeting here, um, but what, one of the things you can do now is collect leads for your business, and you can set this up. And uh, they'll literally fill out the lead form on Facebook. So you can select your traffic, you know, your ZZ Agent Pro's traffic. And um, what you can do is you can actually get the lead right on Facebook. And the cost per lead is probably going to be a little bit cheaper than a cost per uh cost per click to the site just because Facebook is is rewarding this new advertising thing they have right now. So check that out. You can run the same ad, same creative to this and get the similar results. Um, you can use video, slideshows, or images. Um, as you can see, it just pulled in our header right there. Um, so I'd try that one out. And then the other thing that I would try, let me just get back to, can I get out of here? Um, here we go. And then let's create another ad. This is another thing that I would try with Facebook ads. Uh, I would expand your reach right here to have desktop right, Instagram, and audience network. We're actually seeing some pretty good results with the audience network right now. If you ever play or see someone play a mobile game app, um, some of those apps are advertising with Facebook, not just Google. And it's a good way to get in front of those people in a different environment and get more touches and cheaper clicks. So I'd try that and see if that can lower your cost per click too. Um, and then finally, uh, if, if your cost per click is seven bucks, one thing I would do is get hyper specific with my targeting then. Uh, so I would make the ad highly unenticing to anyone that isn't my direct lead. So if I'm, I was talking about, uh, I think it was with, um, I was talking with someone in Beat Zillow earlier, and we were talking about how you could target a really, Mike Higgins, we were talking with Mike Higgins, and um, we were basically figuring out that if you target really specifically, let's say first time home buyers in their 25 to 35, buying their, um, buy their home after their wedding, right? That's really specific, and you can get really specific with your ad creative there on Facebook. I would get equally specific here with your ad creative and make it, for a very, like I would put the name on that person. Um, let's say it's Katie and she just got engaged and she's gonna buy a house. Um, it's her first home and she's a nurse and um, they're getting married in six months. Like that, make it that specific and run the perfect ad for Katie. So that way when it's seven bucks um, and she's maybe going from Facebook to your lead lock page, it's really highly specific and enticing for her so you get a high conversion there. You don't get a lot of clicks in that scenario, but then those clicks equal conversions at a much higher percentage. So those are my four tips there for what to do with Facebook ads to lower that cost per click um, and to get better results there. You can change it to 10 cents. It's probably a bit cheap though for clicks. It's probably more in line with just getting video views um, and I'd see what that can do for you. So Tyler with Easy Internet Pro, hope this helps you out with Facebook ads and with your targeting and with your um, audience and everything. Uh, subscribe on YouTube, share it with your friends around the office or non-competitor agents. Uh, and let me know if you like this stuff. Drop an email at tyler at easyagentpro.com. Uh, you keep asking questions and I'll, I'll answer them on YouTube and Facebook. So have a good day.